Magni and Modi, two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often, it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. And I remember the time Hingir the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Ed. It's hot here, but is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself, and all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. Just like the heat, Brock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls a cinch. Long as you don't end up cooked. Look here. Another. This one's called Surtur. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. He makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective.
Listen. I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there. The voice! It's just around this corner. Oh. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train? Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Reinforcements!
We failed? There is no failure in training. We can surpass it with practice. Sure. Or we could come back with better weapons and armor. A fair point. 